some people become rich and some become failures. Must you be born rich, educated, healthy, and have a very high IQ just to succeed? Because the law of success is already set, if you follow the law, you will succeed. A man named Andrew Carnegie was born into a poor family, but became super rich. He became the king of steel, right? How do some people become successful and others failures? He thought carefully about it. He realized that people just didn't know the methods and principles of success. He thought that he should tell many people about the law of success. So he asked Napoleon Hill to find in 20 years those 500 successful people what they had in common and to summarize his findings as the law of success. Hill found the principles that these people had and how they succeeded. This is what's known as the law of success. This law isn't something that gets set as law by just anybody. It's like the true north principle. It's a principle found by Stephen Covey, meaning that north has already been predetermined. If you look at a compass and it says north, then that means you're looking north. Let's say that we all write letters in blood, seal them, and we call this side north. Just deciding what's north doesn't make it north. It's already been set. Since the law of success is already set, if you follow the law the proper way, you will succeed. And if you live in whatever way you want, then you'll fail. This is like the laws of nature, which are all set. These are some laws. The sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. Water flows down from a high to a low place. The law of success is set like the law of nature. Some people call this the law of farming. When a farmer farms, he has to do it according to the laws of nature. You know about farming, right? So when a farmer farms, what's the first thing he needs to do? The very first thing that he has to decide is what and how much he's going to harvest. So there's person A and person A wants to reap 10 bags of rice. Then there's person B and person B wants to reap a sack of peanuts. This came up in their minds first. Should the person who wants to harvest rice buy a sand field or a rice paddy? He should buy a rice paddy, right? The person who wants to harvest peanuts shouldn't buy a rice paddy. He should buy the sand field. So depending on what you're going to harvest, everything gets decided, such as the timing of planting, the type of fields, and even the type of farming equipment that you're going to buy and the type of farmer that you will hire. You must already have in your mind clearly how you will look in the next three to five years living a successful life. To build a house, an architect must already have in their mind where the door, the toilet, and the windows will all go. And they must have it with the right dimensions, right? The life that you will visualize in your mind can come true. All you do is visualize. Scientists have said that you can, and there's a lot of evidence to back that up. I'll do a simple experiment. I'll place a pomegranate seed in each of your mouths. It's like a jewel that's sweet and sour as you chew it. As the seeds pop open on your molars, the sweet and sour juice spreads inside of your mouth. And what just happened in your mouth? Did you not just salivate? Call a hospital right away. Even if you didn't actually eat a pomegranate, just thinking about it makes your body react as if you actually did. So, you can change your body. You must clearly see yourself 
living in a 231 or 330 square meter house or a country home in your mind. You drive a Ferrari or you drive a Benz. Put it in your mind. Think about the color of the car as you drive it around. Imagine how it's set up and tell yourself, I drive a Benz. I make 30,000 a month. I make 50,000 a month. And when you're confident, you'll change your attitude, your way of speaking and your gaze. You must visualize how you want to live three, five or 10 years from now and play it in your mind like a movie. If we play this movie over and over again, our lives become like it.